Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to change out a single pole light switch. Alright, so there's a variety of reasons why you might actually want to change out a light switch. Um, maybe it's going bad, um, as it is in my case. Um, and the way I can tell that is when I flip it on and off, there's a slight crackling sound. Um, and that's usually a good indicator that it's going bad. Um, you might also not like the color. Um, maybe, it's, maybe it's an off-white and you want to change it to white to go with the face plates. Or maybe you're just putting in a decorative. I don't know. There's a variety of reasons why you might do it. Um, in any of those cases, it's not a really difficult task. And you can easily save yourself a couple hundred bucks doing it yourself. All right, so before I remove the faceplate, I'm going to go ahead and shut the power off. Now, if you're not sure how to figure out which circuit is yours, um, I've got a video and I'll link to it um, right up here in the corner. Um, and there will also be a link in the description. Um, but it's pretty easy to figure out which, um, which circuit you need to shut off. Um, so let's go ahead and shut the circuit off. All right, so we're just out at our panel here, um, and we're just going to find our circuit. Uh, for me, it's going to be this one, and I'm just going to shut that off. All right, so the bad part for me was that actually when I shut the power off here, um, it shut the power off to the outlets as well. Um, so I actually had to run an extension cord um, so I could get some light. Um, so you want to make sure you have lights, and you might want to make sure you have an extension cord <laughs> available if you need it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna take my utility knife here and I'm gonna score along the sides of the face plate here. Um, and the reason for this is because if there's any paint um, stuck to the um, face plate for any reason, um, the last thing I wanna do is peel it off and actually create more work for myself. All right, so then we're just gonna remove the face plate here. So now just to make sure everything is good, I'm just going to take my voltage detector here, um, stick it in here, and there's, it's not going off, so that you know the power's off, so you're all good. Alright, so now we can just go ahead and remove our switch here. Um, that's why I like these 6-in-1 screwdrivers. So like that. All right, so as you can see, there's a lot of different connections back in here. Um, the main ones we're concerned about are our hot and our ground. Um, and this is an old light switch, like I said, doesn't even have a ground connected to it. Um, so I will have to pull that out, pull the uh, ground out and put a pigtail on that so I can connect up the new light switch. All right, so the other thing you'll notice back in here is there's um, a couple of different wire connectors here. Um, this one is for hot. We don't need to be worried about the. We don't need to worry about the neutral. Um, but if you you can no, you'll notice that our switch is actually connected to a pigtail um, to our hot connector here. Now the reason for that is there's power always going to that. I always want power going to my outlets, um, but I only but I want the switch um, to control my actual lights. So what's happening is that power is coming off of this, out of, out of this connector here. It's running to the switch. Um, and then when the switch is on, the connection is made and now power runs to my other hot wire here, which is going directly to my lights or whatever else is on it. Um, and that way when it's on, um, there's actually power flowing to the lights. And when it's off, there's no power flowing to the lights. So that's a quick, um, uh, quick breakdown of what's happening on this box. So right now, let's just go ahead and get this thing um, disconnected. Um, they also connected this um, using um, the back holes back in here, which is not a great thing. So we will have to um, cut these and then restrip the wire. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take my wire cutters. I'm gonna go ahead and snip this, like I said. Um, give myself a little bit more to work with. Now I'm going to strip this back a little bit. 14 gauge wire. I'll just find your 14 in here. Now I'm going to go ahead and circle that around here because we're going to use the screws. We're not going to use the holes on the back of the switch. All right, so next we're just going to wire up our switch here. 
Um, now you can go off the um, brand, usually it's at the top um, or whatever, it depends on the switch you have. You just want to make sure off is correct, uh, on is correct. So let's go ahead and wire it up. And like I was always taught that the incoming power should go at the bottom and the outgoing power should go at the top. If that's not correct, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below or if you were taught something different. Now, I was also taught to install them in the direction that you're turning the screw, so clockwise. I don't know if that matters or not. Like I said, let me know in the comment section below. And then we'll just tighten these down. All right, so as I said, I'm also need to connect up a neutral here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pull my connections out here. Now I just want to make sure my new pigtail is twisted up with these. So that's why I'm untwisting this. All right, so now we're just going to take our pigtail here. Let's uh, loop around that. So we'll just right side up there. Connect up our ground. All right, so now we're just going to push our wires back in here. All right, so now we'll just put our new faceplate on. We can go turn our power back on. All right, guys, and that's how you change out a single pole light switch. Like I said, pretty easy to do. Um, you can easily save yourself a couple hundred bucks doing it yourself. As always, if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you click that link below and become one, and we'll catch you on the next one.